Hello there. Just want to make a quick video on uh, finding a slow leak. Actually, uh, underneath our sink, coming from behind the wall, from the galvanized pipe and ABS pipe connected to our uh, under the sink, uh, pumping the, the P trap and all of that stuff. So we, we found out because we were trying to um, uh, treat the moisture and mold uh, on the section of the, the drywall and then also removed the, the base cabinet under the sink and I used the moisture detector and found out that there was some there were you know there was still some moisture so I did more investigation and lo and behold uh, I found found out that uh, behind the wall there was it was dripping um, where the connection was with the galvanized pipe. The galvanized pipe is totally corroded. I mean, it's badly corroded inside. And when I tried to uh, remove the ABS pipe from it, it just broke off. And I tried to clean the inside the galvanized pipe, but it was just too corroded and just sort of, you know, a lot of stuff in there. Um, the depo Deposit and, and stuff still, it's, it's, I tried to thread a new ABS pipe in there is it didn't go in it's just too corroded so did this in the condominium you don't want to actually you shouldn't be fixing it because it's behind a common wall between your you and you and your neighbor so we you know after a couple of days we went to Home Depot and the guy told me you should check with the HLA so we called the actually the property management company and Tomorrow they're gonna send out a plumber and get the estimate and then get an approval for uh, from HOA and hopefully once is the approval is completed or everything's good they're gonna start fixing it and it should not be a big deal but this uh, the galvanized pipe is actually that section connected to ABS pipe behind the wall like a T configuration that goes up to the roof to the vent to the roof and course going down to the downstairs we're on the second level so anyway I'll show you the video of you know the, the leak and, and some pictures and what happened and uh, definitely uh, that governized pie section should be replaced uh, do not try attempt to fix it I mean you could for maybe for a short term you know but definitely highly recommended to to replace and call the uh, the HOA if you live in the you know condominium because it's like I say it's a common wall anything outside or in common wall not, not internal to your living space you have to uh, contact HOA because hopefully they'll they will cover the cost uh, you know to fix it and replace it actually I uh, I had a plumber came in or actually a couple gonna cost 600 to maybe uh, 1200 uh, depending you know how they gonna do it they might have to actually go to the neighbor unit and then open up his wall probably his kitchen as well I don't know how but anyway let HOA deal with it you know and they're pretty responsive uh, that they contact my because my daughter is the owner of property property owner and uh, uh, schedule uh, a plumber to come in tomorrow and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll show you some videos and what happened. Alrighty. And again, um, I don't like galvanized pies because they, they corrode it. So uh, if you can, just replace them before it start to leak, especially behind the wall, you know. That and it can the leak can go downstairs and ruin uh, the people downstairs and things like that. So it's not good. So watch the video and I will see you folks on the ne next video. Any comments down below and please subscribe if you find my videos um, helpful. Appreciate it and click the bell as well and you get my latest videos. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Enjoy the video. Oh, took a lot of work <laughs> to remove this. So almost there. Pretty thick, like half inch. Almost an hour. Okay. Moving um, base here in my kitchen cabinet is half inch uh, particle board, but it's pretty tough actually. 
it took me some time, probably like half an hour, just to cut through this uh, kind of a little bit of labor intensive because it's not as thin as I thought it would be. So now I have to like uh, pry it off, force it off here. So let's see if I can remove this easily, maybe, maybe not. it nailed pretty good to the end here I'm gonna try to remove the middle piece first okay here yeah, it come out and then I'm gonna have to replace the drywall the lower portion of that drywall because I got some mold there so that will be next. So let's see if we can just yank this out. Let me it out. right I have to break it off. yeah I see right here they broke one out here so I'm gonna have to reconstruct this later on with plywood right here those are some of the mold that I treated with some spray so basically I'm gonna remove the bottom portion of the drywall here. So I'm gonna measure, see how, what is dimensions, the width and the length and the height. 